brother, how you doing? Peace, brother Black Dot in the building, writer, author, poet, MC. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know how it is, you know what it is. Right, right. So, quick question. I want you to speak on the science of seminal retention, um, the effects of it, and the benefits of it, and why we as melanated folks should practice um, this, this sacred uh, practice of seminal retention. The key word is sacred. It is a sacred practice, and our elders used to do it all the time. Uh, we did it to restore and repower and regenerate our chakras. So when you don't explode, you implode. So when you let your semen go all the time, it's like letting go probably 40 gallons of blood. You know what I'm saying? When you break down the, the, the blood that's in the seminal and things of that nature, our elders figured out that's why the whole shape of the arc, we found out how to, instead of letting the energy go and release, to swirl it back around to illuminate those chakras and enlighten us. To put that in regular layman's terms, you become more powerful because your organ energy can blow up 10 city blocks. And even dudes in the hood that, to understand the magnitude of that. Your organ, your, 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 your tongue can blow off 10 city blocks. Now, ejaculation, like masturbation, all of that's terrible because every time you release your sperm, you're giving birth. I'm going to say that again. Every time you release your sperm, you're giving birth on some plane and some level, some astral plane. So you'll have a whole bunch of entities following you around for the rest of your life because you ejaculate this energy off with no purpose and have had so it's very important, it's very hard to do, it's very hard to do, but with practice, and now for fellas, they got the penis rings, a lot of the male strippers wear them, because they want to keep their uh, penis erect when they're doing their shows, but that's a starting point, in case you feel like you're getting ready to e e e ejaculate, and you don't want to, now, when you don't ejaculate, and it goes back in, you're supposed to come out of her, then you go sit somewhere and meditate and contemplate, because the energy within you is accelerating in your thought process at rates unbelievable. So these are some of the sacred sciences that all our elders knew and understood. But during the course of the fall of man, from our higher chakras to our lower chakras, we have lost a lot of that in translation. And these beasts and these devils have us just letting it go all the time, all the time. And we want to know why we age. You know, at 30 years old, we're looking 50 and 60 because we're letting the life force go. So that's why it's important for seminal uh, to retain that semen at all times, the retention. Mm -hmm. Thank you, beloved. Thank you. That was powerful. Peace, Peace. Peace brother. How you doing? Peace. Good, Dr. Alimo Bay. Mm -hmm. So, I'm recording you because, um, well, I would, I would like to get your input on the topic of seminal retention mm -hmm. and why it is important for our brothers to understand the science of seminal retention, right. as well as if you can give um, us some tips on how to practice seminal retention and, um, you know, just how to go about the whole thing and the information that we need to know, the importance of it, et cetera, et cetera. Right, well, my um, grandmaster, was Master Singh out of Saraswati. And um, I was a student of his for nine years until he passed May 2nd, 2014. So he just passed, um, you know, about two months ago. And so I definitely had to give um, latest alarms to him, my peace and love and blessings, um, or bliss rather, on his, um, you know, 49 days he's already passed, so he's out the bar though. You know, and so um, I guess this is why we're coming to this session right now is on the signs of um, empty retention or dealing with retainment of the semen of, of fluid. Um, of course, everything is based on the science of breath, all right? Um, one of the techniques on which Eddie taught us was to actually um, cause the kundalini or shakti energy to be magnetized and pulled up through the spinal column, but that's based on um, the amount of seminal fluid in which that you have been able to retain. Um, being able to retain a large amount of it means basically that you have to go outside of what Stephen Chang said in his book, Dao Sexology. He states that based on your age, so let's say if a brother is 20 years old, it would be 0 0.2. So it would come out that every four days he can release 
all right? Um, 30 would be every six days. Mm -hmm. So 40 would be every eight days. Mm -hmm. You know, so 50 would be every 10 days mm -hmm. and on and on and on. So what is stated is that if they were able to abide by that particular um, lesson being taught from Taoism, then they wouldn't have, they would have any problem of losing, you know, themselves. Um, I think it was a good play by William Shakespeare. I think it was in Hamlet in which they said, I died a thousand times in your lap. Mm -hmm. And what that meant is that he orgasmed, and we know that the orgasm and losing that amount of fluid, because we found out when you do the science that that's two New York house porter steaks, that's six oranges, mm. that's eight lemons, that is two cups of milk, you know, um, all of that is being released at one time. It takes actually 40 drops of blood just to make one drop of semen. Mm. That's 40 drops of blood just to make one drop of semen. So when you ejaculate, you know, um, outside of that cycle which that we just talked about, you actually are committing suicide. Mm. So the science is to learn seminal re um, retention so that you can begin to start doing what's called microcosmic and macrocosmic orbit technique in which that actually you circulate the energy up from your perineum. Actually, you gather the energy in your dantian, which is your lower dantian, which is your um, navel. You send it to your, what is called your perineum, which is the so-called million dollar spot which is right between the man's legs, his genitals, or his um, shoulder sack, and his anus. There's an indenture there. You pull that up to what is called the dead exercise, just like the women do the Kanko exercises. Um, you pull that up, and coming up the back to the top of the head, you inhale. And then as you exhale, it falls down the front. Coming up the back is called the government channel. When it comes down, the um, front is called the conceptual or the functional channel. Mm -hmm. So as you inhale and exhale, what is doing in that cycle, and your tongue is up at the base of your um, roof of your mouth, right behind the teeth on that little, um, I guess you can say little mound area there. Mm -hmm. And your anal muscle is pulled up, all right? Which is called the Hu-Yin lock. And when it's done, no energy now can leak out your body. So every time you breathe in, you're actually extracting prana or chi or key energy from the oxygen, all right? And you are extracting it and you draw it into yourself and then circulating it, which produces what is called regeneration, mm. all right? So actually what you're doing is reversing the aging process. Mm. You know, so that's the science of um, reason why you practice these science. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Taoism or Qigong or Tai Chi is um, based on, um, you know, reversing the aging process, also being healthy at the same time. It's the quality, you know, um, you know, of life that we want to focus on. Mm -hmm. So as we go, as we are in this cycle of I know, mm -hmm. lots of, um, you know, black folks are becoming more aware and becoming more conscious. Um, about certain things, but we have we have failed to um, know the real si science of like sex, like you know sex talk. Our parents do not talk to us about sex, so we do not know how to practice safe sex. Now, it's not um, it's not to scare anyone to say that you shouldn't be having sexual contact with. Um, you know, a female or whatnot, but you shouldn't do it with everyone, and you should not be releasing your uh, sacred fluids. Right. You know? Well, the word sex itself means marriage. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing that we need to tell um, the youth as they come into this world. Um, we don't have to wait till they've gone through puberty. You can tell them this at the earliest age, you know, because now you have the internet in which that is promoting so homosexuality um, on TV and the movies is promoting, um, you know, porno, uh -huh. you know, um, you know, no one wearing clothes now in, you know, on TV as well as in movies, uh -huh. you know, um, when we tell them 
gas. Sex is marriage. For words, sex means to merge. Mm. If you look up the word marriage, it means to merge. Mm. So it has the exact same definition based on Webster's dictionary. And so when you understand sex is marriage, they have a more greater responsibility and a much more deeper understanding on why they're not supposed to have sex before marriage, mm. as we would say. In other words, if you're going to have sex, make sure it's someone that you would marry. Right. That's the key. And so they wouldn't be so gullible and so eager to release themselves, you know. And the things that we talk talking about is supposed to be taught right before and during puberty is the recirculation of this energy. Because what happens is that when this energy is built up in just the groin area, that's hell. Right. That's a lot of kundalini energy there in which that has to be expressed. And when you attempt to just say, like the Christian church, is just say, well, just be celibate. Good God Almighty, hold up. Be celibate and not ejaculate. In other words, um, masturbate or be... <laughs> right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What are you saying here? Mm -hmm. Which one are you saying? Because mm -hmm. in Christianity, you're saying both are bad. You know, having sex before marriage and then masturbating. You say both are bad, but you don't give the understanding of it. So that means you have to teach the children the science, the sacred science behind sex. Mm. And the first part is to tell them that sex is marriage. Mm. You know, um, that's the way that we're going to um, solve all of this, is giving them the responsibility, you know, um, well, you know you have sex, and this is your, your wife. Right. Um, you know, if you want to do it Islamically, okay, well, it's time for you to get her a dowry. Mm. <laughs> that's right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, you, you need, you need um, a thousand dollars or whatever to pay the family, you know, for them having to lose her, you know, because she was a great asset to the family. Mm -hmm. In other words, if we did that, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, from a metaphysical point of view, not just an Islamic or just not a Christian, but combined, or African, right, or just African, or indigenous, or indigenous, but combined, right, right. right but combine all those um, sciences of what has been taught within each of those so-called cultures, then we would have a um, better um, aspect mm -hmm. of people on this planet, a better perception. Yes, thank you. You will. Would you like to leave your contact information for those? Um, yeah, definitely. Th right. You can get us at www.drlemelbay.com. That's the website. Also, hit up our YouTube page, right slash Arlene Bay, as well as also um, check us out. Um, we have TV shows that we've been on um, actually for almost a year. Um, we did them out in St. Louis and Chicago, well, Illinois, so Missouri and Illinois, we've been doing the TV shows out there, and they're called Moorish um, Heritage, so www.moorishheritage.com, mm. so check us out. Also, every Wednesday. Yeah, every Wednesday, we have the Blog Talk Radio Show, right. um, First World Radio, um, um, more than half of the time, we have Brother Panic on there, who the co-host. Yeah, shout out to Panic. Brother Panic. My brother, Adele. yeah. Um, we also have an um, event coming up this September, in which we're going to be dealing with the energy modalities in which we're talking about here. Um, the science of breath, the science of pranayama, reiki, pranic healing, and so forth and so forth. Okay. So check us out. Thank you. If we would have known that there was a power in sex and a magic in sex, would we not have utilized it in a more healthier manner? Of course. Of course. We're also speaking about being able to retain your seed, to empower your seed, so when you give birth, when you copulate or procreate, one of the main Peace, reasons... Peace, brother. How you doing? Peace, sister. Glad to be back with you again. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Azazel, and today we're going to talk briefly about sexual or retention of sexual energy, mm -hmm. which is a very interesting topic. And of course, this is just a five minute breakdown, so you need information to lead you to what I'm going to say. So it may sound a little crazy if you don't know all the other stuff that surrounds it. Montauk Chia was one of the, you know, I'm not going to do the history. Uh, you don't want to be pressing on any points in the body, because what happens is, when a man stops the seminal fluid and, and the orgasm, the semen does not, uh, is not reabsorbed by the body. And it becomes rancid and putrid and actually can kill you and accumulate at the base of the spine. Sexual retention was based on Lord Maitreya, 
and them and European societies. Sexual detention was never meant for the African, African American, the Moor, indigenous. It was never meant for them. We have an overabundance of children. And we not and our our goal is to repopulate or populate the earth to its fullest. Your children represent represent your um, legacy. They were like a female child is increased in your life. We never were into stopping children. Okay, number one. But when you stop, there's a point under between the underneath the scrotum between the scrotum and the anus, anus, where you press a soft point there that will stop the scissor. I tried it one time back in the 80s and I couldn't get the semen to flow no more for a week. So I did something wrong or I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> but I was scared to death. Uh, but what happens is that semen comes down, once that semen leaves the brain and joins that seminal fluid, uh, once that seminal fluid loses the brain and the semen in the, in the scrotum goes into it, you cannot return it. So what happens is it gets, um, it just stays in your body, in certain parts of the body, spine, scrotum, and all that, and it causes cancer. becomes putrid, rancid, and you even can smell it through some people if they practice that. You can actually smell it on them. So without going too deep, which maybe that was about five minutes, there's a whole lot of information that goes with that. Um, and maybe at a future time, or you can get a tape called Sex Magic. I've done five tapes on Sex Magic, two tapes on black sex, um, and various other sexual tapes and things, uh, how to meet the right person, how to determine if they're the right person, who's the right da 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 when to have a child, don't have children in the winter because the chi of the, of the, of the winter is low. So, Always love your mate before you have a child. When you have sex, when you have sex with your woman or your man, please be in love with that person. But this is the thing: lots of us are not loving our mates or the people that we are having sexual intercourse with. People are just having sex. Yeah, people are just, you know, the young society now just having sex. They're not practicing safe sex. They're just doing what it is that they want to do, and they're and they're transferring energy to different females or to different males. Right. Now, my question to you is, because you 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 um you go by seminal retention isn't good. I want to know. Okay, well, we know that um the sperm is very potent. It has lots of um nutrients and you know vital uh you know yeah, sure. enzymes or whatnot that can lubricate the spinal cord going into the brain center and activating that pineal gland. Yeah, the actual so, fluid is oil in itself. It's actually oil itself. So, and, and semen is actually, believe it or not, dark brown or black. It just appears to be white. Mm. Okay, like we don't know that either. But it, it's just like a fresh apple, a fresh peach, okay? How long can you keep that peach in your mouth? How long can you keep that peach on the table or keep that apple in the refrigerator? It starts to become what? Putrid and rancid, okay? And that is the highest of the chi coming from a tree. What about you? Okay, what about you, you see? So, so seminal retention is some man-made crap that comes down from the Moors, the Moors who had harrows and 20 and 30 women, yeah, nigga, you better retain something. <laughs> I, you, know, you know what I'm saying? We living in a place here now where we are only functioning with our reflections. These, this, my queen is my reflection, and I don't need no, you should be able to stop your ejaculation when you get at the point of when you feel an orgasm coming on. You, If you're a master, you should not be pressing nothing down here. You should be pressing shit up here in the brain. Okay, because I don't have any children with my wife, and we've been married 15 years, and we I have to stop with my brain. Don't look at her because, men, if you're having sex with a woman and you look at her, you're done, nigga. You're done. That's the same thing in the Medusa movies. You have to look away and, and look, you have to look at think of something else in order to please her, because her orgasm is different from yours. Mm -hmm. It's more emotional, there's levels, there's just a whole different energy. But she's 
part of you. She's that female energy that's within you. Okay, so monitor not only the sexual positions that you, because every sexual position shows what each partner needs in their physical life. Okay? So, so, so if I'm missionary, if I'm on top of her, she has the need to feel that she has to be controlled by God. Or if she's on top of you, it's a feeling for the man to be controlled by their mate, okay? So it, every sexual position means something. And the semen that comes from that sexual position is different from, like, missionary is different from doggy style. The semen that comes from those two different, those positions are different. Ella, um, publicly known as nutritional healing. But just to um, piggyback from what Sugar Ray is saying, this is how um, most of our women um, obtain like fibroid tumors, you know, stress within the uh, reproductive system. You know, you have uh, lots of toxins because of the different men that they're sleeping as well, that they sleep with different women that have diseases or discomfort or stress or family trauma that their family, you know, the woman in their family have never dealt with. You know, a lot, lots of us as females have never, you know, gone inside of ourselves and fully dissect what has been happening genetically from mother to grandmother to great grandmother. You see all these single mothers. You see all these women that's sad, stressed. That gets passed down genetically to their daughter. You see what I'm saying now? A man having sexual intercourse with that woman, you know, with, and another woman. with another woman that has the same diseases. Now you want now you want to know why you got fibroid tumors. Now you want to know why, you know, um, your, your menstrual cycle is coming down so heavy that you can't control the bleeding. Now you want to know why you always tired, why you always stressed, why you want to fight another woman. Why? Because of the genetic information that has been transferred from penis to penis. You see penis what I'm saying? Penis to penis? Penis to penis. Or oh, oh, penis to vagina. Well, from yeah, vagina from vagina, vagina, vagina to vagina. Yeah, excuse me. Oh, vagina to vagina. Right. No, no, no. Vagina penis. to vagina. From, no, from vagina to vagina, excuse me. The man is having sexual intercourse with different women. So that one man, gotcha. right, is, is transferring Ooh. energy. Thanks, thanks for clearing from, that up. Yeah, from, sorry, from vagina to vagina. You see what I'm saying? And that's a, So that, the man is just a carrier. He's like he's the bridge. He's just a carrier of the negativity, of the stress, of the downfall of all, all of these different women that's going through traumatic. So, okay, you know, it sounds like you're saying toxic particles and toxic energies piggyback due to the sexual activity of, of the promiscuous men. partner. Of the men. Or vice versa. Right. The promiscuous partner because if I'm a man mm -hmm. and I'm just sleeping with one woman mm -hmm. and she's sleeping with multiple men, mm -hmm. then vice versa, mm -hmm. she's piggybacking Taking that, that bad penis and energy giving and giving it, it to you. And 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 how and how Sorry. this happens and how this happens is through the, the fluid, the vagina fluid, also, and, and that is compatible or that is symbolic to the cerebral fluid, which is, right, which is, um, which is very electrical. And the cerebral fluid is what activates wow. our pineal gland. So therefore, okay. if it's, it's so, so then really therefore it's as above, so below. So the cerebral fluid, you feel what I'm saying? So if the cerebral fluid is activating your pineal gland, then you have the sexual fluid that's activating your lower chakras. You see what I'm saying? That's activating your lower chakras. So if it's activating your lower chakras and you're having sex, sexual intercourse with these different people mm -hmm. that had uh, uh, toxins, mm -hmm. you know, or, or, or their mothers probably abandoned them, like these men who mothers abandoned them and tell them they ain't shit, that, you know, feel feel that they, 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 they searching for love in different places. They carry on that energy and they exchange that energy through these uh, sexual fluids. Okay, you see sure. what I'm saying? And then the sexual fluid, once it's in friction with the, with, with the woman's vagina or the womb, now she gravitates to that. It's like an in and out. You see what I'm saying? Men, women, we suck in a lot of stuff. We suck in, we hold okay, things good. in. I'm happy you, see you what mentioned I'm saying? it. We hold things in, in a womb. 
And that's why, for most, for most part, we hate each other, women. You know what I mean? We hate each other. Mm -hmm. We don't, you know, we can't get along. Oh, I don't like too many women in my crew. Let me tell you guys something. We are the creator of life. We are women. Without us, there's nobody. So you need, you know, we need to step our godhood up. That's why the woman up. wears the dot on right. her forehead. She's the original. That's the dot that That's this whole material manifestation came out of. They say. The universe came from what? A big bang. So they say, which right? Which is the big bang, which is the cosmic energy, which is the black the woman, which is the female energy. Hole, which is Everything the came right. through the spiritual world. The male energy came down and coalesced. He actually spat us living entities into this material manifestation, which is the womb of the cosmos. Mm -hmm. And it's funny you should mention cerebro spinal cerebral. fluid. Right. And holding on. Because it's gonna tie into what Sugar Ray's about to talk. Right. Now cultivation of sexual energy particularly male sexual energy mm -hmm. in the ancient vedic system they believe that when a man had an orgasm that was the path to death mm -hmm. and that when he actually inverted that energy mm -hmm. and sent it up his spinal cord mm -hmm. also, or held on to that energy also also known as seminal retention okay. which a lot of men do not practice that seminal retention is what... Well, that's why we die so young. All right. That's one of the reasons we die so young, because we... <laughs> our energy. In a sense... In four, a... four drops of blood to make one drop of sperm. All right. Well, thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. but, the, the, but the key here is that is also known as your natural birth control. If you know how to save in that chi, you know, because when, when dudes bust that nut, they're tired. Uh -huh. So you releasing a lot of energy and that sexual energy that you can use to activate your pineal gland. And this is what I'm right. saying. Right. The path to immortality is the upward path to sperm. Mm -hmm. When it comes down and out, it leads to mortality because then you keep reincarnating through the seeds you produce. Mm -hmm. So you have to go through the cycle of birth and death again. And not only that, and not only that, the more you store that uh, semen see men right the sea of men which is known as the water right the womb and we know we all originate from the womb and womb and and water carries energy also the uh sexual fluids carry energy also the cerebral fluids carry energy so the sea man travels up the 31 uh the vertebral right going and activating your higher self which now you are also known as a god which is like you said the black the red or black dot that many hindu people wear or even uh melanated people yeah wear. the bindi dot is for all women it's for all women but you know it's, it's, it's more so practiced in the indian culture mm -hmm. because they are melanated people too they're the original people too but you know we have different ways of practicing and whatnot but the key here is that for men we have to if you don't want to i mean i'm not saying it depends on the woman's vagina if she's dry or not you know we got to save that sperm you see we got to save we got to we got to save the semen by saving the semen you will save yourself you will save yourself why because you are activating your higher self and as i said and and, and as a matter of fact that pineal cone you know, is that cone that you, is that long, uh, long elongated beard that you always see, uh, uh, hey Ru, I mean not hey Ru, but the black man, Osiris. And he stands up with his penis, his phallus erect. And he also has this, this is also represented as the, the penis, which is the higher self. The lower self is his penis erect. The higher self is that penis down here. So what happens? Activate that pineal gland through the cerebral fluids of the semen. And, and stop busting off. You see, stop busting off. Because then that, that also, and when different men is not practicing safe sex, right? Then this is how you have these families that has no father in the house, right? And then as a, as a result of not having no family in the house, you have single mothers, right? And as a result of having single mothers, she's stressed, she's tired, she's holding on to aggression. Where's that aggression going to? The womb. You see what I'm saying? And then the cycle happens over and over and over and over again. You see what I'm saying? So the key here is 
to know who you sleeping with, number one, true, and practice safe sex. Like just practice it, practice safe sex, know who you sleeping with. And you said that safe sex yourself. is actually the cultivation of the male sexual energy, right? Indeed. All right, cool, Indeed. cool. Indeed. A lot of cool. a lot of brothers don't know about that 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 um um that seminal retention thing. So if anybody wants to contact you, is there an email address? Like how do people reach you? You got a website? Yeah. I'm I mean, on, this because this is right. for public consumption, so right, you know. Right. I'm on Facebook as Nutritional Healing. Um, you can contact me at um, Samori's Healing at gmail.com. Spell, mm -hmm. spell S A M as in Mary O R Y Healing um, at gmail.com. My blog site is www.thepisces.thepiscesguidance.com. So you can contact me, or you can see all my YouTube videos or all the work that I do through my website, or well, my blog site. And you can also link me up on Facebook, again, Nutritional Healing, and I'm on Instagram as Nutritional Healing as well. Nutritional Healing, one word or two words? Nutritional Healing is one word, but you you know, when you go through the search engine, you go nutritional.healing.5. Okay, got you. Is, isn't it dot five? When you go through the search engine, after you search do... Search is Nutritional Healing. No, but after... Nutritional Healing, that's the website, that's the... Yeah, but the search is, you know, it's hot. Alright, whatever. You'll find it. Alright, cool. Bless you. Bless you.